Hello. Today I want to record this video to prepare a very short introduction for the multi-layer materials in ANSYS, specifically how to model a plate with multi-layers in ANSYS. Here I want to model a uh, plate with four layers as here you can see we have four layers the thickness for each layer is one millimeter and the orientation for each layer is 45 0 90 and minus 45 and the material properties for this layer in x the young modulus is 175 gigapascal in y direction the young modulus is 12 and in z axis is the same the poison ratio in all of the direction is 0.3 and the shear modulus in all of the directions is 5.9 gigapascal so we need to model a plate with these characteristics in ANSYS and then we will uh, do a very simple static analysis just to know how to model a multi-layer plate in this software so the first step in ANSYS we need to define the element okay here I will use the uh, shell 181 uh, element here in preprocessor we need to define the element in the element type you should add here you can see I will add this element in the left column we will have different elements link beam pipe solid and shell and in the right column the first one which is 3d 4 node 181 this is a suitable element that we can use this this is a three-dimensional element with four nodes and we will add this element by clicking on OK so we will have this element shell 181 now we can close this window the next step we need to define the material properties okay so here in this tab material properties we can choose this we will have different options in the tab material models you need to define the characteristic of your model here we will have different material models available mm, or analysis is a structural analysis okay so we can click on a structural here we will have different properties or material we will behave linearly so we choose the linear one and the elastic so because the esterous relations are uh, linear so we choose this one but here we will have three options uh, isotropic autotropic and unisotropic the second one which is the autotropic is a multi-layer characteristic so we choose this one here we can see the material properties based on this problem description we will have ex ey ez and poison ratio and the shear modulus so we need to define this one so ex is 175 e9 gigapascal ey is 12 gigapascal e9 and is it which is again 12 e9 the poison ratio prxy pryz and prxz for all of the axis is 0.3 and the shear modulus which is uh, 5.9 again gigapascal so we can here 5.9 e9 sorry 5.9 e9 and the last one okay 
so this is the characteristic of the material here we will do a static analysis if we want to do a vibrational analysis we need to define another option which is density but here in this project we don't need to define the density because our material and our analysis is static so we don't need density now we can choose the exit but if you want to use different materials in different layers for example here you can see in all of the four layers we will have the same material but if you want to choose or use different materials in different uh, layers for example in the second layer if you want to use uh, another material in the second layer you can use and define here you can define a new model and then you will have two or three or more different material properties but in this example we only use one material model so we choose the exit and now we can we will have the material properties now the next section in the multi-layer structures we need to define the layers orientations so in the sections here you can see we will have different options because we deal with a shell and plates we choose the shell tab and in the shell tab we choose the layup now we will add a new layup so here we will have the orientation of the la uh, layers so here this is only one layer we can add more layers because we have four so we can add three other layers the first layer the first column is thickness our first layer is the thickness is one millimeter so for all of the layers we assume that the thickness is one the orientation is 45 degree so in this tab the first layer the thickness is one millimeter so it will be 0 0.001 meters we should in the, at all of the values in uh, meters the material id is one because we as i told you all of the layers have the same material properties so it will be one the orientation is 45 degree okay and integration points which is the number of the points that in the integration or in the calculation will use we by default choose the tree for all of the layers the second layer is again the thickness is one millimeter the material id is one because all of the layers are the same the orientation for the second layer is zero so it will be zero the third layer again the thickness is one millimeter the material id one but the orientation is 90 degree here you can see when you choose the 90 degree you can see the orientation is vertical or for 45 you can see here we have a 45 angle for the orientation and finally the last layer again the thickness is one millimeter material id is the same and finally minus 45 which is the orientation so this is the uh, or plate layers now we can click on ok and now we need to model the plate here we want to model a rectangular plate you can define with different methods you can define a plate a rectangular plate but i want to use uh, a little uh, complicated more complicated method because i want to introduce you how to use a key points line and area options okay here in modeling we choose the create first i will define the key points which the key points are the four edges of your plate i will define the plate in x and y plane so i need to define the position of four edges of the rectangle we assume that the plate has a dimension of 20 uh, centimeter 
and 10 centimeters so I will define the key point in active coordinate system the first key point will be the first edge because the dimension of the rectangle is uh, 20 centimeter and 10 centimeters so and I want to put the origin of the coordinate system at the center of the rectangle so I will define the key points for the first edge the X component will be minus uh, 10 centimeter so it will be minus 0.1 and the Y component which is minus 0.5 five centimeter which is point zero five so this is the first point as you can see the second point the x component will be positive the third component the y component is positive as well and the last one the x component is again negative here i uh, didn't write anything here for z and the software will consider zero by default for this component so this is the la here you can see we have four edges for the rectangle this edge is 20 centimeter and the other lens is uh, 10 centimeters so this is the edge now i can connect these key points by using the lines again lines and a straight line now i can connect this key points and now i have the four lines for the rectangle and the next step i need to define the area so again areas arbitrary and by lines now i can choose these four lines and when you click on ok we will have the plate so this is our plate and the next step we will do the meshing but one point if you want to put any uh, cutout in this plate now you can in this uh, step you can put a, a cutout for the cutout for example if we want to put a circular cutout in this rectangle plate in the area for example you can choose <coughs> circle now in the circle you can define a for example by dimensions because here you have different options to define a circle by dimension you can easily define a circle here outer radius and then a starting angle 0 to 30 uh, 360 degree and then when you put the ok it will make a circle here for you and then using the uh, operate option and booleans and then subtract areas you can subtract the circle from this rectangular plate and then you can make a plate with cutout but for this example i only want to concentrate on how to model this plate in with multi layers in ansys so the next step i need to define the meshing the meshing is again up to you you can choose different methods to make the mesh but here i will use uh, a simple method in the size control i will define manual size for lines so i will pick the lines i will define mesh for this line here in the second position we have number of element divisions here i will define for example 20 apply you can see this line is divided into 20 elements and these two lines i will consider okay again the number of elements for example 40 okay so these two lines is these are divided to uh, 40 elements now in mesh areas mapped three or four sided so in this route i mean mesh areas mapped three or four sides we can uh, do the meshing for this area by using three or four sides here we define uh, three sides with elements so i will choose this option and now if you uh, press the pick all you can see we have a meshed plate so this is the meshing and the next step we need to define the